What's up, YouTube? It's your girl, Jada Jornay, and I am back with another video. And it's your artist by the title today. I'm going to be showing y'all how I got this wig, okay? I love this. I've been wanting some short hair, and this came just in time for the season change, okay? Period. But today, I'm going to be showing y'all how I bleach knots, how I pluck, and everything, because y'all have been requesting a, a updated tutorial. So, I'm going to hop right in, and I'm using 30 Volume Developer today. So, I'm just going to pause that a little bit so y'all can see. It doesn't really matter what brand, but make sure it's a cream 30 Volume Developer, okay? Okay, I prefer to use Quick Blue Bleaching Powder. I feel like it's way better than BW2. It's not as harsh, and it already has kind of like a toning component inside of it. So, as far as what my measurements are, I don't really use a measurement. I kind of just eyeball it. You don't want it too loose and too thin, and you don't want it too thick either. Either. I use a plastic knife that's all I use ever I don't use an applicator brush um I always use a little plastic knife I have like a whole pack of them and I just go get a new one every time or I use the same one if I wash it off it don't really matter but yeah you just mix and mix and mix and you pour more depending on how your mixture is so, okay so you might have to add more powder as you see or you may have to add more liquid depending on if it's too thick or if it's too thin and that's what i'm doing to make the perfect consistency bleach concoction <laughs> Okay, so what you want to do is pray some got to be on your hair. This is going to help the hair lay down and not have any flyaways. And also helps prevent any uh, over bleaching or over bleaching on any flyaway hairs to cause the hair to turn blonde. Um, you're going to comb that out and y'all see how it all just becomes one. So then you're going to flip your wig upside down and you're going to thumbtack, not thumbtack it, what them things called, T-pin it down to it. Um, this moves too fast for me, y'all. I'm sorry for the edits. Like, they really be moving too fast. Well, I did it, but... Anyways, so all you're gonna do is spray that bleach mixture over that lace. Like, it is butter, okay? And the lace is toast. Literally, that's all it is to it. You don't wanna press in too hard because you don't wanna over bleach, but you don't wanna just sit it on there because it will not really penetrate how you want it to. So you do wanna press lightly, but not too hard. But yeah, just lay it over. I found this method to be the easiest way to do it because whenever I did an applicator brush, I always press too hard and it will always go through. So I found that this would be the easier method for me personally. Once you have put that all over the frontal, you do want to let it sit for about 25 minutes, continuing to check every so often, every five minutes or so, to check and see if you're not over bleaching because all lace and hairlines are different, all knots are different, and they all process at different times. So you do want to be cautious and you do want to look like I slightly over bleached, but not too bad. So now I'm about to go rinse this mixture off, um, and it wasn't terrible. Okay, so I forgot to mention, but when you're rinsing it, you can choose to wash it with purple shampoo to tone it a little bit, if that's your prerogative. I'm lazy because I didn't feel like it, but um, I'm lazy, so I didn't do it. But anyways, uh, plucking, I like to pull off the first uh, little piece of hair, and then I just literally go in 
and go ham and that's i think why i over pluck a lot because i go ham every time but really you just want to pluck 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 and don't plug in the same spot honestly that's all i can say because i have a bad habit of over plucking and that is one of my like not so strong suits if i could be honestly with wigs but i am i'm not gonna say i'm getting better because i'm feel like it's hit or miss with every install what i do say help is parting the hair down the middle go ahead and get in the middle part and then plucking on the sides because it will give you kind of a type of symmetry look so at least the the sides can be the same but if y'all see i'm just really going ham with the plucking like that's really what i do um i'm really not explaining it but y'all see the difference between the pluck side and the non-pluck side major difference i did slightly over pluck but not terribly not terribly but i am working on that y'all do ask me how i pluck um and sometimes i don't really feel confident because i feel like i'm not the best at plucking but it'll get better with time i guess so y'all see y'all see it's 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 a difference So here's the wig all done up. The curl pattern on this hair was bomb, okay? Like, it was perfect. Like, you could wear this hair really big and really pretty. I was really messing with it. Um, I didn't really detail too much the install because that wasn't the point of this video. But yeah, I did want to go for like a kind of layered type of curly look. Did my baby hairs. And I'm just summing this up. Um, slayed those a little bit, you know. Got myself together. Um... You know what I'm saying? There wasn't no method to the madness. I was just going.
this wouldn't be a jaded tutorial if i didn't go in and go ham with scissors just because i was kind of bored and wanted something new so as y'all see i'm chopping this hair up i just didn't want to wear it long i wanted a bob so that's what i gave myself i cut a decent amount i could probably cut like 10 inches of this hair and yeah it just got me a little curly bob and i was feeling it definitely like i was into it it was a look um oh i got double chin <laughs> but yeah just doing my baby hair is getting cute getting cute you girls fish off quarantine you know i had to slay and kill it okay so this is the finished product i definitely loved it this hair was so bomb so luscious it soaked the product up so good and made it so juicy Thank you to VV Baby for sponsoring this hair. Y'all shop. All links will be in the description box below. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.